Previously on Star Trek Online, the Dominion as you know it is on the verge of collapse. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What's happening? Yes, Garrick, I found your mysterious widget. What is it exactly? It's not Karemin Tech. I found a similar device on Bajor. These devices call the Herc, and we put them there. The other founders are hiding things from me. Odo, look out! Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother, otherwise we're doomed. The Sword of Kalos has promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. We found a secret I've kept for millennia. The origin of the Herc infestation. And you're rolling it. The Dominion must endure. I'm afraid I can't allow it. As we speak, every Herc in the Quadrant is homing in on the signal. And now the conclusion. I arrived here ahead of you, and I've already engaged the Herc near the planet. You've made your point, Garrick. Deactivate the Herc lure device you placed on the home world before this gets out of hand. I'm afraid that's the problem, Ambassador. I deactivated it several minutes ago. Then why are the Hercs still attacking? Don't play games with me here, Garrick. I'm warning you. Perhaps they're still attacking due to a deep hatred of your people. After all, the Founders are directly responsible for their state of mind, body, and soul. I can't say I blame them for... Enough! Both of you! We don't have time for this. There's bigger problems to deal with here, starting with that swarm of Herc vessels nearby. Agreed. My fleet is already engaged near the planet, but Herc reinforcements keep arriving. Try to punch through the swarms so we can join up. We may be needing your solution to this problem soon. Yes, since yours failed. Attack it rationally. As it. Some might argue it's.
some time. Let's hope it's enough. Julian, is your plan ready? It may be our best hope to end things now. It's as ready as possible, Captain. The challenge of frontier medicine, I'm afraid, is that there is never enough time. I've created a program that will enable the Herc to synthesize the compound they need to come to their senses. I've also put together a core sample of the compound for them to utilize in mass production. That is the easy part. And the hard part? What do you need to make this happen? From what we've learned about the Herc, the best way to make this happen will be to enter the data into one of their core computer systems. It'll need to be a command-level system with fleet-wide override authority. Systems of that caliber are only found on Herc dreadnoughts. There's a Herc dreadnought heading toward the planet as we speak. It's slow, so we should be able to intercept it. I recommend we engage that ship and disable it, if possible. We'll need to get a team on board to carry out Julian's plan. Some of my best. Dukan Rex will lead a Jem'Hadar away team, while Loris will assist Dr. Bashir. Right. Let's get the away teams on that dreadnought before it calls for backup. Loris and I have all we need. We're ready to beam over when you are. We'll need to find their central computer core. Once we're there, I'll begin the override process that will allow us to transmit our data on the cure. When that's done, we can instruct each ship in their fleet to replicate the cure and distribute it to every Herc on board. Of course, we need to reach the command center in one piece to do so. Enemy life signs ahead. Get ready to fight. Proceed with caution. I'm reading numerous hazards in the area. This... Enemy 
Excellent work. It's time for Loris and I to finish this. Keep your weapons handy, however. We're breaking into a secure computer system here. The Herc are bound to take offense. Keep them busy while we do our work, or this will be a wasted trip. Saving time by inverting the feed now instead of later. Running out of time, Doctor! Perhaps you know a fast way to translate Herc language and reverse engineer their technology. Almost ready here. The system needs the physical samples of the cure for final analysis and processing. Shall I proceed? Are you insane, Wayun? That was our last hope. How is this possible? You were in prison! I was liberated by those who still serve the true Founders. Not everyone is a traitor to the Dominion, after all. There is only one traitor here, Weyoun. It's time you paid the price for your treachery. <laughs> Pathetic. You can't even... kill someone properly. Allow me... to instruct you. You! Jemadar! Make yourself useful! Kill them! 
Giving you an order! Open fire! Kill them, now! I think not. He's gone. And not a moment too soon. Bashir to command. Everyone, we have a problem. That Herc fleet is about to attack our position. We need to give the Doctor the time he needs to transmit data on the cure. Brilliant observation, Quark. What do you want? Please, please. Forgive my brother, Odo. We're here to help. The Ferengi Cavalry? <laughs> I thought I'd seen everything. Oh, <laughs> the best is yet to come, Odo. Say hello to my dangerous friends. Well, Quark, we're waiting. Rom, where are they? Warning. Lose Ship something. Like your nerve, perhaps? Long ago, Takuvma the Unforgettable lit the beacon of Kalos to restore glory to the Empire. Today, a new torchbearer, Worf, son of Moog, does the same. United, we now go to fight the enemy of our ancestors. Today, we will fight the Herc. I now hold the weapon they fear most. The sword of Kalos has been returned to us. Join me now in honorable combat. Show the Herc what it truly means to be Klingon. For Kalos, for the Empire, Kapla!
arrival of the Klingons has given us more time in space, but the situation on the surface is dire. Herc's forces are breaking the Jem'Hadar defense lines. We need to do what we can to help. I'm beaming directly to the Great Link to aid my people. The time has come. The Herc mean to ravage everything in their path. We will not allow it. We will stand against them as Kalis once stood, defiant and proud. Fight well, and if need be, die well. Kapla! Whom do we seek? Kalis! How do we find him? Together! Kalis, give us light to see forever! Will he hide from us always? Never! It's worse than we thought. Most of the Jem'Hadar lines have been broken. Even the Great Link is in danger. I'm going to coordinate our defenses at the Link. Meet me there. We'll meet you there as soon as we can. And Odo, be careful. The Jem Hadar have come to our aid. Now, we will return the favor. won't last long out in the open like this. Odo to Kira. We're fortifying our position near the Great Link. Understood. We're on our way. I must. Confirm. 
as my surprise. And, well, it's seeing you here, on this, the homeworld of the gods. Truly, we are living in strange times. You'll forgive my boldness, but there are still founders under attack nearby. Can I count on you to aid them and destroy the wretched creatures who would do them harm? This changeling is losing morphogenic matrix stability. There are more friendly life signs nearby. We should do what we can for them. Made it. Good. We're going to need all the help we can get here. It looks like the Herc are focusing their attacks on the Link. I've called for reinforcements, but most of our lines have been overrun. We're going to make a stand here and hope the Doctor's plan is successful. If not, if we fail, this may be the day the Dominion dies. Please tell me you have more Jem'Hadar coming to help. The 
call's been set, but they may not arrive in time. We'll do what we can with what we have, then. As always, until the end. I'm not sure I like the way you said that, Odo. Nerys, if we don't make it... No, now is not the time for this discussion. Look around. There may not be a better time. I... You're right. And I understand what you do. You do? Then you know how sorry I am. For everything. Yes. I... I know. I feel the same. Are you hurt? It's just a scratch. I'm fine. We're losing ground here, Odo. Keep fighting. We can't hold this position much longer. That's Jem Hadar, for we're about to die, Doctor. Are you ready? Not without the Ketracel components needed for the cure. Ketracel? Yes. Wait! Stop! Is life... It seems the battle is over, but how? What happened up there, Doctor? 
I believe Duke and Rex realized that his own body contained the Ketracel material I needed to finalize the cure. He extracted what we needed at the cost of the lives. Once the Herc were able to synthesize the cure, they came to their senses and called for an immediate ceasefire. Their forces are withdrawing as we speak. It's over. I won't say one, but it's over. There was nothing I could do for him on the Herc Dreadnought. The Ketracel extraction process was too devastating. Odo, you treated him like a son when we first found him on DS9, and I'm truly sorry. He didn't even have a name when he left us. I'll make sure the name he found is never forgotten. I remember his first days on the station. All he wanted to do was fight. Didn't matter who. When he left, I thought I'd never see him again. Or if I did, it'd be as enemies. The man I met years later still knew how to fight, but his reasons for doing so had changed dramatically. I'm proud to have known him. I wish I could have done more in the end. I suppose you're right. I believe Nerys, uh, Captain Kira, was looking for you. She was at the Temple of the Prophets last I checked. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to pay my respects. We'll talk more later. And here we are, once again. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Funny you should mention that. After we got back, Starfleet Command offered me a number of postings, even the center chair on one of those shiny new cruisers. <laughs> Tempting. But I chose to join the command staff here on DS9. Bajor and the Celestial Temple mean a lot to me, and this station is a good place to keep them both safe. Subtle, but you're not wrong. Odo and I have a lot to work out before we're back to where we were, but we've taken a few good steps in that direction. I think it'll work out. Eventually. <laughs> He's a hard man to read sometimes. Hello again, my friend. It pleases me to see you. I have... Interesting news. Thankfully, no. Rather, it involves the Orb of Peace that you returned with Kaiopaka. It has... spoken to me. I've been exploring the meaning of that experience with the Kai and Captain Kira. They are, after all, experts on such matters. 
while we all find it curious that an orb of the prophets would speak to a Vorta, we also agree it would be foolish to ignore it. With the blessings of Founder Odo, I have been transferred to this quadrant to continue my studies of the Orb and the Prophets. I shall also serve as Founder Odo's representative here. Diplomacy is my specialty, after all. I'm sure we'll be seeing one another again. May the blessings of the Founders and the Prophets be yours. It is good to see you once more. I was hoping we'd have a moment to speak on an important matter before your duties take you back to the stars. My thoughts often return to the Orb of Peace. It was no coincidence that it was found in the Gamma Quadrant, in the midst of two warring tribes. I believe it to be a message from the Prophets, one of guidance in troubled times. Now that the conflict with the Herc has ended, I feel it's time to explore this omen more thoroughly. The recent vision experienced by Loris is truly remarkable. That the Prophets would speak to Avorta? Again, this is no coincidence. Simply put, I believe the Orb is meant to broker a lasting peace between the people of our quadrants and the Dominion. Thank you for coming to visit. After all we'd been through, it means a lot to have friends. Even if it reminds me of the ones we miss. Speaking of reunions, I think General Martok is leading the charge against the Bloodwine at Quarks. I'm sure he'd want to congratulate you on another glorious victory. May the Prophets watch over you. A hard-fought battle, and a well-earned victory. And yet, we almost missed it. Our fleet would have never left the Empire if it weren't for the sword's return. Grilka tells me her former mate, Quark, had something to do with that. The sacred blade of Kalis, returned to the Empire by a Ferengi. Madness! Yes, it was Worf's idea to ignite the beacon of Kalis. A bold move, but it paid off. Only a coward could refuse such a call to arms. The legend of Kalis is stronger than ever. It would not surprise me if the High Council moved to create a new clone of the Emperor. There is great power in legend, after all. We need to stop running into each other when the fate of the galaxy is on the line. I'd be fine with drinks here at Uncle's Bar, or some baseball on the holodeck. That said, I can't think of too many people I'd trust when everything's on the line. Glad you are here for this. Starfleet's assigned the Chimera to peacekeeping duty in Herc space. We'll be working with the Joint Task Force to help the Herc get back on their feet again as well. There's a lot to be done, but we want to help them rejoin the galactic community. It is, but my crew is up for the challenge. They're some of Starfleet's best. Take care of yourself out there. Don't be a stranger. I am forever indebted to you. Without your efforts, I would walk the path of exile for the rest of my days. Now, I will help make amends for all that has happened during Zencast's terrible crusade. I'm so glad to see this come to an end. <laughs> but not as glad as everyone back on Ferenginar. It's a celebration of Rule 35 like no one's ever seen before. I mean, peace may be good for business, but things are really getting out of hand. <laughs> when word got out that the Gamma Quadrant was open for business, the new Latinum Rush was on. 
open borders and free trade policies? <laughs> My husband was practically weeping with joy. <laughs> oh, poor Odo. He thought he had his hands full with Quark on DS9. <laughs> now he's going to have an entire quadrant full of Ferengi to deal with. <laughs> We'll be here at DS9 until my ship is repaired. Fortunately, I have exclusive rights to the hollow sim of the battle. The sales of that alone will cover the cost of repairs, and then some! <sighs> some days, it's good to be the Grand Nagus. I don't like to think about how close to disaster we were. But fortunately, there were people like you out there to bring us all back from the brink. All those adventures. You've got quite a story to tell. That reminds me. Have you ever considered making a hollow biography? I think your life story would be quite popular and profitable. I'll make you a very generous offer for the rights and cut you in on a share of the profits, say 25%. Search yourself. The offer still stands if you change your mind. Welcome back. Seeing as this is a private party, and I'm in an unusually generous mood, you'll be getting the VIP discount on your drinks tonight. Did you take a hit to the head in that fight? I'm in a good mood. Not insane. Half off. Take it or leave it. That's more like it. Don't take it personally. You could be Odo. His drinks? 50% markup. Not much to tell, really. Lex saw the error of his ways and gave it back. Then I had Groka let Martok and Worf know we'd recovered their precious relic. A quick handoff later, and the Klingons were off to war. Rom and I tagged along, mainly to see the look on Odo's face when I rode in with the cavalry. That was priceless! If I die tomorrow, I'll go to the Exchequer with a smile on my face. Who do you think you're talking to? Nog? Unlike the Federation, the Klingons know of the value of Latinum. I'm thinking of spending my cut on a smaller moon to orbit the one I already have. I might even name it Odo. Can I get you something? Interesting. There's a message from Garrick on my monitor here. Text only. He wants you to meet him at his old tailor shop. Maybe he's had enough of politics and wants to get back in the fashion game. Probably more profitable in the long run, and easier on the nerves. I wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. He looks for secrets when he gets bored, and trust me, he's not the person you want poking around in your business. Thank you for meeting me here. Strangely, I find it easy to center myself in this shop, even relax. Quite so. Cardassia is about to begin a new journey, as it were, and I'll be going along for the ride. Oh, it is. Cardassia has been offered membership in the Alliance, and we've accepted. Our seat at the table was hard-earned, but we're ready, and grateful to join the ongoing efforts. Officer exchange programs have already begun. In fact, I suspect you'll be seeing more Cardassian faces in the future. I hope you show them the same courtesy as you've shown me in our shared adventures. Oh, I'll be spending time on Earth, Kronos and New Romulus. The life of an ambassador is never dull, after all. Someone needs to make sure the Alliance doesn't forget about Cardassia, and I suppose that someone is me. I'll be sure to follow your exploits, of course. They'll be far more entertaining than economic forecasts and state functions, to be sure.
The conflict may be over, but there's still plenty of work to be done. The Lucari have offered to help the Herc restore their homeworld ecosystem, and they've accepted. Dr. Bashir will be working with us on this. It, it's our goal to ensure that no Herc will go without nourishment again. Some time ago, I hoped for a path to peaceful resolution to our troubles with the Herc. I'm happy to be part of such a solution, at last. Thank you for your efforts in getting us all to this point. To peace. I believe our fearless leaders would like to have a word with you next. I have initiated a dialogue between the Dominion and the Karema. In light of recent events, I feel it is imperative that their conflict is resolved peacefully. Whether that results in an independent Karema or not remains to be seen, but I shall endeavor to help them reach a result that is beneficial for both parties. The Havas Cool Sector has been designated as independent from the Dominion, and a Herc Neutral Zone has been established around it. The Empire will join the Federation and the Republic in keeping the peace between the Dominion and the Herc. We have experience in enforcing a neutral zone, after all. Martok's use of the beacon and the return of the blade has led to a renewed interest in Kalos throughout the Empire. Some say that Martok stands with honor next to great heroes like Tukuvma, Volk, Lorel, and Kang. As if getting along with a stubborn old Targ wasn't difficult enough, his ego will be larger than Mount Hamar at this rate. It is fortunate that Martok has little in the way of political aspirations. Otherwise, I may need to kill him. Again. Ha! <laughs> There have been some significant diplomatic events since your return from the Gamma Quadrant. First, the Dominion is joining the Alliance. Having them as allies will take some getting used to, but the opportunity was too great to ignore. As a condition to joining the Alliance, we requested that the Founders take steps to free the Jem'Hadar from their addiction to Ketracel White. I'm happy to say that Ambassador Odo is inclined to comply with that request. It will make things Interesting in the Gamma Quadrant, to be sure. Still, it's been a long time coming. The Jem'Hadar should be able to live their lives freely. The Dominion is about to go through a number of changes. Liberating the Jem'Hadar from the White, phasing out the Founder's benevolent dictatorship, establishing a safe haven for the Herc. Needless to say, I'm going to be very busy for quite some time. No, there are still a number of Founders within the Great Link who will be very resistant to change. I'd like to think they're outnumbered by those willing to take a more democratic approach, however. The last thing anyone needs is a Dominion civil war. Also, not all of the Herc were cured. We'll be dealing with rogue swarms for some time. I hope we can call on you in the future if we run into that special kind of trouble you have a talent for dealing with. Oh, and speaking of trouble, you might keep an eye on Quark. That little act of heroism with the Sword of Kalis will make him bolder than ever. Things are finally settling down around here. Well, as much as it ever settles down, that is. Ah, uh, well, there's a lot to be done with the Herc, and being part of Starfleet will help me make things happen in that regard. When I'm not here, I'll be working with the Lucari and the crew of the USS Aventine to help the Herc get back on their feet. Indeed, but I happen to be married to the captain of the Aventine, so it won't be, you know, too bad. The kids won't be joining us until Kumake and her team restore Havas Kul to a more habitable state, however. 
I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. But until then, be safe out there. Doctor's orders. <laughs>